Fourth control in asset management, do you have external information systems cataloged? Are all of your external information systems cataloged? Now, I'll probably catch some flack, but I'm not trying to represent the whole, you know, everybody has a, you know, a bastion host type of, you know, everything's on-prem, but follow me for the illustration. If you're operating a headquarters environment, even leveraging your cloud, uh, some type of a cloud platform, cloud provider, you even have remote workers out there working from wherever, remote offices, coffee shops, from their car, parking lot, whatever it is, from home, you know, hopefully, through the first couple of controls, what all of your assets are. The external systems, right, are those that you rely on, whether they are SaaS providers um, or, you know, other locations that are providing services for you or you're accessing. And I guess one area, you know, when you're looking at this control is, you know, do you have a full understanding of what you also access? Case in point, and this comes into play when you start looking at, do I need a CASB or not? But identifying what are your people accessing? Say these are representing websites here or even just systems and applications. But, you know, your internal teams, your security teams, you know, ideally have some type of a capability to be able to monitor and protect what's going on on the assets that you're managing, that you as an organization own. You want to be able to see and know that you're only allowing your folks to access the things that they need to. If suddenly now you have an asset that is unknown to you and it seems to be doing what would be considered regular business operations, i.e. it's very similar to the other systems or applications or platforms that your people are using, this now becomes an interesting predicament and issue for security teams to have to address. They see something that looks legitimate. They're not entirely sure because they don't know if that's an area that should be used. For example, there are a lot of different providers out there that provide file sharing services, Dropbox, Box, Microsoft, right? If your corporate approved is the Microsoft because you're a Office 365, E135, whatever license, and everyone should be using uh, OneDrive, suddenly you're seeing a significant amount of access and activity going on on Box, Dropbox, something else, your security team, rightfully so, is going to raise some eyebrows and start investigating. Well, turns out that maybe your marketing department was allowed to be able to leverage the uh, Box.com because it made it easier for them to work large files or whatever with an outside agency uh, or other business partner. Not knowing that creates work for your security team who you've charged with protecting the organization and the assets. So, Having a full understanding and a full catalog of your external systems, having that documented back to the first couple controls that we've been discussing, allows for your organization to not create work that doesn't really create value. Once you identify this uh, system, and my recommendation is that you identify that and then quickly move that into uh, your documentation that outlines that that is an approved or now cataloged system, application, platform, whatever. But as soon as you identify these things having valid business use case and reasons for use within your organization, take the time right then and there, identify it, roll it into your current inventory, satisfying controls one and two of this family, uh, subfamily, and then now satisfying control number four.